G'day. Paul and Pauline here in the garden. And today we're reading out of 2 Chronicles chapter 7, where the Lord appears to Solomon. From verse 11, When Solomon had finished the temple of the Lord and the royal palace, and had succeeded in carrying out all that he had in mind to do in the temple of the Lord and in his own palace, the Lord appeared to him at night and said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. Get Paul in to read from verse 13. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among the people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. And reading on verse 17, As for you, if you walk before me faithfully, as David your father did, and do all I command, and observe my decrees and laws, I will establish your royal throne as I covenanted with David your father when I said you shall never fail to have a successor to rule over Israel. And of course Jesus is uh, in the line of David and he is the successor, the King of glory, King of kings and the Lord of lords. But some mighty uh, advice there, if my people who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I'm going to hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And we're called by his name. We, we are called to be children of God and we need to stay humble, deny ourselves, pick up our cross and follow Jesus, his son into eternity have a great day get into the word and let the word of god get into you bye for now bye